Hello and welcome to IT Convergence User Productivity Kit Tutorial Series. This tutorial will cover when to use a decision frame, how to insert a decision frame, and how to insert a branch path using the UPK. Decision frames can be used when you are recording two topics that have similar starting procedures, but may later present multiple choices. Rather than create multiple topics, you can use a decision frame to split off and record each option the user will encounter. Alternative paths will eventually connect back to the original path, but branch paths will have a different ending. For example, from the print dialog box in your application, you can print all pages in the document, the current page only, or a range of pages. For each task, you follow the same steps to open the print dialog box and start the printing process. Rather than record three topics with identical start paths, you could record the steps for printing all pages and then insert a decision frame to record the other print options. You could create a branch path for setting print options, which requires that the print dialog box to be open, but doesn't result in anything being printed. To insert decision frames in order to create a branch path, open an existing topic or record a new topic. Select the frame where you want to insert the decision frame. Click on Insert and then select Decision Frame from the drop-down menu. The decision frame will insert after the frame is selected. However, the decision frame will capture the image of the frame following the decision frame. The Create New Decision Path dialog box will appear. Type the name of the existing path into this box and then click OK. The existing process will be the default path for the decision frame. Each path will appear as a hyperlink in the bubble. Make sure the decision frame is selected, then click in Insert and then select Decision Path from the drop-down menu. The Create Decision Path dialog box will appear. In the first example, we will select Branch. Enter a name for the new branch path. After creating a branch path, the UPK developer will minimize and the recorder will appear. Record your topic like normal then finish recording. Once the recorder closes, the branch path will appear below the original path. Notice that the paths do not connect. This concludes our tutorial on how to insert decision frames and branch paths. On behalf of IT Convergence, I would like to thank you for your time and invite you to join the IT Convergence YouTube channel, where you can learn more about user productivity kit features and functions. Thank you.